Hey guys, my name is Gabe and this is episode 2 to my Unit Multiplayer tutorial series for Unity 5. In this episode we're going to be going over uh, player network synchronization. So it's a lot less laggy than it was in the first episode. So let's just get straight into it by opening the player network script. Alright, so once Visual Studio opens, uh, you might get this thing pop up. Just press yes and save. Alright, so let's get started by creating a sync var and what a sync var is is a variable that is uh, synchronized over the network so we're gonna make that private and I'm gonna name this a vector 3 so sync position alright and I like to do that move it on the same line and after that I'm gonna make a public transform transform which is going to be player transform actually we'll make this private because we'll get it from the start method. So, uh, let's see, what else do we need? Um, that might be it for now. We might also want to make a public a public float um, called, I guess, movement lurk rate, and we'll make this 15. All right, so after we do that, we're going to want to go into the start method and get that uh, players transform so I guess we can do we don't need to do if his local player we'll just do player transform is equal to get component player or is equal to get component uh, transform so we'll get it right off the um, where the script is so what else do we want um, let's see we're gonna want to make a fixed update method so I'm gonna make a private void here called fixed update and just for preference I'm gonna uh, make this a private void you can do that uh, so we're gonna make a another void called lurk position I'm not typing today so well so private uh, void lurk position and I'm also going to make another um, another method called private void provide pause to server, and then we're going to provide this position, and then we're going to make another private void which is going to be send position. Forgot the parameters. All right, so. Uh, I did actually screw up already. Uh, we're supposed to make this a command. So make right here a command. And what a command is, it goes over a method, uh, this attribute. So what that means is this method is going to be sent directly to the server. So, and you also have to name this CMD, just like that, capital C, lowercase m, lowercase d, and then your uh, method name. That's just uh, how command works. And for this, we're going to do client. All right. So, oh, and if we do if we do client callback, I think we get no warnings. So we'll just do that. Uh, for this one, we're going to do if we are the local player. So if local player is equal to true, then we will provide the position to the server. Uh, transform which is going to be player transform dot position and then in here our synced sync position is going to equal to position all right so in the fixed method we're going to call lerp position which doesn't do anything yet and we're going to call send position Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to first call lurk position, which we haven't done yet. So we're going to do over here if we if we are not the local player, because we're going to sync things. We're going to sync this uh, the player's position uh, in this way over the uh, over the network, so other clients can see it, but we don't have to see it because it's kind of pointless. So we're going to do transform or the player's transform dot uh, position is equal to vector three dot lurk. So we're going to lerp uh, our current position right now, so player transform dot position, to our new position, so sync position, by time dot delta time, multiplied 
by our movement lerp rate. Okay, so after that we are basically done. So uh, let's go see if this works. All right, so to get that working, just uh, go to the player prefab and let's see what we need to set up. Player network, all right, we did everything. And network transform, we can just remove that. So save that and I'm going to build the game. So control B and that'll build it for us. All right, so after we have that built, I'm just gonna hit play right there. And I'm gonna play here and I'm gonna host. And someone did ask me to lower the footstep sound, so I'm just gonna lower. Hopefully this is gonna be okay. Just lowering my recording uh, volume and I'm also going to, I'm actually gonna close this and I'm going to go to the player and let's see, audio source, volume, I'll just bring that to like 0 0.4 or 0, I don't know, 0 0.2. We don't really need that. Uh, we don't really need to hear footstep sounds too much. So just build that again. Host. All right, that's good. Hopefully you can hear me uh, over the footstep sounds now. And now I'm just going to do LAN client over here. And I'm going to take this window and put it over here. And as you can see, it is actually very smooth. Uh, almost perfect, in my opinion. Very smooth. And same thing over here. As you can see. And yeah, you get the point. Good. Okay, so uh, that's done. Now we're gonna synchronize the player's rotation. So we can close this because as you can see, or maybe you can't see, I'm not really sure. All right, so now we're gonna synchronize the player's rotation because the rotation is not synchronized, only the um, trend, its position. So we're gonna get that working. So open up your script again, and we're going to have to make a few more variables. So up here, make a, all right, so I'm going to, hmm. all right, so I'm going to put this together, probably put this up here. So let's see, player uh, position vars and player rotation vars. All right, so for player rotation bars, I'm gonna make a sync var, uh, which is going to be private quaternion player rotation. And, or sync, sync player rotation. Oh my God, I cannot type today. And I'm also going to create a public float ro rotation lerp speed, uh, or lerp rate, I guess. Uh, rate is equal to 15. I'll bring this one up here and I'll actually move this um, let's see I'll move this up here. All right so we're gonna have to make another method. It's gonna be another uh, see lerp rotation this time and for lerp rotation we're gonna do if we are not the local player just like last time. So if not local player is true, uh, so we are going to do player transform dot rotation is going to equal to quaternion dot lerp the player transform dot rotation to our sync player rotation by time dot delta time times rotation lerp rate. So that's doing the same thing like the position, except this is a uh, rotation. So we're basically copying this, but um, we're copying uh, basically this, but making it for rotations. So that means we're going to have to make a uh, command. So command private void cmd provide uh, rotations to server. Or rot So we're going to have to make another command. So private void 
uh, let's see, uh, CM, CMD provide rotation, provide player, should I do that? Provide, hmm, I'll just do rotation, rotation to server. Okay, so Quaternion player rotation, and that's all we're gonna need right now. So sync player rotation is gonna equal to player rotation. Then after that, we're gonna make a client, and I'm going to call it uh, what, private void. Uh, let's see, send rotation, and let's see if we are the local player, we are going to send our own rotation. So CMD provide rotation to server, and we're going to sync our player transforms rotation all right so that's basically it i might make this yeah let's just do callback shouldn't make too much of a difference okay so let's see if that works i'm going to make a for the player a way so that we can see rotation so i don't know i'll give him a a cube let's bring it up here uh, let's see it, it doesn't really matter too much I just want to do this so that you can see that rotation does work so that's good apply I'll just call this eyeball or eye doesn't really matter apply and then delete this and I'm gonna build this and see if it works okay so I've made a really uh, retarded uh, mistake I actually forgot to call these methods that we had created so I'm gonna have to obviously do that in the fixed update so I'm going to do lerp rotation and then send rotation that is probably the most important part of this Otherwise, it will just not work. So I'm going to build this again and see if it works. And I'm going to host, connect as a client. And as you can see, rotation works perfectly fine. All right, guys, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, we got player synchronizing working so we can now lerp the uh, transform uh, completely we can lerp the rotation and the position over the network so that's good uh, next episode we'll probably do some basic shooting thanks for watching and have a good one